Good morning from Marble, Colorado. So we're gonna go photograph a whole bunch of places. We're going to Maroon Bells. We're gonna go shoot Capitol Peak, the beautiful Crystal Mill, and a couple other spots that honestly I didn't quite expect. So stick around and let's get into this. To get to Crystal, you need four wheel drive. It's not necessary to air down your tires, but I'm gonna air them down so I have a much smoother ride. All right. Let's hit the road. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the composition now of how I'm seeing an image of this beautiful structure. All right, so with this shot, what I'm trying to do is position uh, the mill on towards the left-hand side, a little off-center, because I want to showcase the aspen trees on the right, and I really like this little rock formation on the left. So here are a couple things that I'm thinking about when I'm setting up for this shot. So the first one is if I'm higher up on this trail, you can see that the roof is right underneath the, the lip of that, of that mountain. And so if we just go down a little bit more, you can start to see that you get that separation between the mill and the mountain. So you get something like that now. The other thing, though, is if you keep going down even more, there will be just a huge part of the building or the roof sticking out, and to me, that doesn't really look super great. The other thing I'm trying to watch out for is this stuff over here, these little branches that are just poking out. They're not really full and colorful, so I don't want to show them, and it's also distracting because it's taking away from the rock here that helps frame the waterfall as, that, as the water rushes down. This is such a high dynamic scene, I have no choice but to bracket right now. The white bark on the aspens are just so bright. Um, I, I might have to go three stops underexposed just to save that detail. Also, this is like a super sketchy like little cliff that I'm on. Earlier while I was hanging out setting up the tripod. There was a tour guide here and I got to talking with her and she was telling me that the leaves actually were chemically burned because we had a heat wave in the beginning of September where our days were reaching 95. And so this is the best we're gonna get this year at this specific location. This is the shot for the year apparently. I'll have to come back uh, next fall and get some more shots. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that shot. If the uh, photo turns out, here's the shot. I am ready to head back into town. I got campground that I'm staying at. And I want to make it there before dark because I don't really want to do off-roading on a shelf road when it's dark. So, making my way back. I'm at Lost Lakes and it is beautiful. Um, I set up a shot, I heard all this buzzing around me, and I looked down, I was standing on top of a yellow jacket nest. Let's just say a couple of them came out and paid me a visit. I got chased out. So I lost that composition spot, 
uh, there are some other compositions on the way here, but by the time I get there, I'm not gonna be able to set up, uh, compose, and be able to get the shot because the sun's already gonna be past sunrise. I gotta say, I think I'm really enjoying this hike more than shooting the lake this morning. Especially coming up on that aspen. Those golden leaves, so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It keeps raining off and on while I've been up here. I've set up the camera and the tripod and I have composed a shot of Capitol Peak. I am on Capitol Creek Trailhead. Uh, I've maybe hiked in a couple hundred feet or so. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you what I'm working with here. And the lighting just is happening. You're just getting some sun rays just right through the clouds and then it disappears. So I've got to be kind of quick taking these photos, but let me show you how I have composed this image. So in the top left of the frame, we have Capitol Peak, which is being covered by some clouds. And then down below, you've got these kind of rolling hills and also build that depth with the different layers because I like how they're all just really diagonal. On the bottom right, you get like a little bit of a lighter spot and when the sun hits that, it's really nice. Same with the left-hand side. And then just the way that the sun just comes through these clouds and just hits the landscape, it's just super, super beautiful. So that's really how I've, how I've composed this shot. Now I am shooting at about 160 millimeters right below that. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's just right around 160 millimeter. I was trying some different 35 millimeter, 16, 20, you know, stuff like that. Very wide angle, but it, for me, it wasn't quite working. I really like the compression that I'm getting. Bringing Capitol Peak closer in the frame, closer to the viewer, you know, having the different mountains kind of like stack, having that compression, it just looks really, really good and makes everything seem really large because it is. All right, if this shot turned out any good, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. All right, this little camera's about to die, so I will update you when I get back and it's charged. So, Let's just say that's going to be in three, two, one. Okay, so it's 5.37 in the morning right now. I am at Maroon Bells, and I will be shooting this for sunrise. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was absolutely spectacular. There is a couple minutes of really awesome light and clouds that broke through. Tricky part about photographing this in the morning is that there are photographers that have already claimed their spot and set up their tripod at five in the morning. Makes sense. It's just really hard when there's zero light to try to compose it. So crank the ISO as high as it goes. Open up your aperture all the way. That way you get a faster shutter speed. So it's easier for you to readjust your compositions. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shot. So. Here's the shot. Mother Nature is serving up some realness and I need to break out the camera and photograph these aspens.
All right, so I've hiked a little bit further uh, past the first lake. I'm really liking the exposed uh, tree trunks with the leaves on the bottom, like below the tree trunks, and then leaves above the tree trunks. I like this little opening space, and that's what I'm trying to capture. Now, I do find a couple things distracting around the edge of the frame, so I am gonna zoom in and see if I can uh, tighten up the composition, have a little bit more of that compression, but then also get rid of the things around the edges of the frame that are distracting to the eye, or at least distracting for me. So some of it is the off-colored brown bush kind of creeping up in the bottom left of the frame. There's also a couple trees on the edges that I, I wish I had a little bit more breathing room. When I try to open up the image a bit more and go down to, let's say, a little bit of a wider focal length. I, I don't necessarily like what happens when I do that, for what I see on the edges, at least. All right. Heading back to the Jeep, gonna pack up. If you're finding this video quite entertaining, and you're having as much fun as I'm having here, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe so that way you can follow along the rest of my adventures. Almost the Jeep. Too many layers on right now.